us. He had helped exactly. himself, but I was just a study partner of his along you're, the way. You're very involved yeah. in the community. You are in this yeah. space that a lot of people, when it comes up, is like, yeah, and, and, and shut it down, so, anti-Semitism, right. we can't hear it. So I've been in this space because I've been debating the mm -hmm. people who are hateful towards the Jewish people. I found it to be very easy to discredit their logic that they're promoting. They're coming with emotions. Mm -hmm. So that's where the there's like a clash. So can you explain the claims and yes. the context? The real mm -hmm. elephant in the room is if you go to the government of Israel's website on yes, their view on the lost tribes of Israel and who's from the house of Israel around the world, you notice one of the most common names in that report is the Igbo tribe, the Igbo tribe, 40 or so million people in Nigeria that self-identify as being Jewish. There's, you know, 60 Orthodox communities in there that who have converted and are practicing Judaism. They have a whole Jewish revival going there. It's fascinating and the government of Israel is loving it and they're supporting it and and Jewish people are making documentaries about it. And it's like the most exciting thing ever. So anytime I'm in Israel at like the Western Wall and I see a Igbo man, yeah. and I can tell because they're wearing Nigerian outfits. Yeah. I say, are you, are you Jewish? He's like, yeah, how, how do you know? And I'm like, well, bring it in. Give me a hug. Yeah. You know? But what is mind boggling to me, which I can't imagine why this is not in the news and not spoken Listen about. Listen to the devil is that tell like on himself. A large chunk, go. more than a, a fourth of the transatlantic slave trade came specifically from this one tribe. Mm -hmm. So how are we not starting to connect dots and being like, wait a minute. So the tribe in Africa that the government of Israel is fascinated with and, you know, enamored by is now the blood of those people flowing through the African-American community here. It makes sense to me why they're all being like, we have an Israelite affinity where if the DNA of the blood of these people are in them, they have a valid claim to feel and say that. Where it goes wrong then is where spiritual bullies come and hijack that reality into forming cults that create hate um, and et cetera. So that's, those, those are the people I battle. I'm not battling the reality that you could be from the house of Israel. I'm battling the bullies that are standing in between you and your inheritance, which is the Torah. Because if you really are from the house of Israel, come back towards the Torah. It's perfectly been preserved throughout the exile. Now, you got to uh, examine this. Where in the Bible has it ever had the Israelites ever been mistaken for white people where, where do you read that moses was mistaken for um um a damn uh roman where is it written that uh they thought paul was uh from russia the hell is this you don't read that you only read that they were mistaken for black people so if the israelites which he's admitting Igbo uh, Israelites, mm -hmm. most of the Amer black Americans come from that place. Right. They're the Israelites. How is it that you got white Israelites now then? It Pretty don't up. make sense. Nowhere in the Bible do you read of none of the prophets getting mistaken for white people. Right. They were always mistaken for black people, Egyptians to be exact. Right. So if That's he's right. saying that he has no problem with us being Israelites. Well, then he has to admit the fact that there's no way that white people can be the Israelites. You can't have both now, of them. Notice how we he, can't I'm be sorry. Israelites and then they be in the family with us. Right. It don't work like that. That's right. no, notice how he always said uh, when he went over there, he noticed that they were keeping the customs already. Then they got converted. Yeah. Because yeah, that's what they did. They found them already keeping the customs of Israel. And then next thing you know, they converted them. So what does that mean? That they won't, they'll allow us to be the, the Jews of the Bible right. as long as we include them in oh. with our inheritance. Yeah, right, right. That's what he said. I'm battling cults. You know who he's talking yeah, about. You know he's, talking he's talking about, about Israel united in Christ. <laughs> Damn. He's talking about all the Israelite camps that are excluding heathen nations oh. from coming in to the inheritance. But that's biblical. Mm -hmm. Give me that in Nehemiah. Right. Go. All right, pick it back up. Damn tech team almost threw me off, man. <laughs> no praises. But for the Take people, team, I ain't going to let them do it, man. I ain't going to let them do it. <laughs> that's a cap. That's a last resort Trump card when you know you can't refute what's coming out. Yeah. It's, all right, look. Y'all could be the Israelites. <laughs> just <laughs> include us. Just include, include us. us <laughs> yeah, we want to be in there with you too. Uh, give me that in the book of Nehemiah. Uh, Y'all know where it is, where you're talking about uh, you have nothing to do. We will be Sir. on uh, Nehemiah. Where we at? Isn't it Ezra 46? Ezra. Oh, is it Ezra? Okay. Is it? 
Or is Nehemiah? It's one of Nehemiah. No, no, Ezra 4. Ezra, yeah. Yep, Ezra chapter oh. 4, and I want you to read verse 1, and then we're going to jump down to verse 3. The book of Ezra chapter 4 and verse, verse one. 3. One. One. Verse 1. Cambridge Bibles. Go ahead. <laughs> now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity builded the temple, to the Lord God of Israel. Now, when the adversaries, the enemies, saw that they was building and coming back mm -hmm. to who they was out of captivity, out of captivity, they saw it with their own eyes. Read on. Then they came to Zerubbabel. Now, jump down to verse 3. Verse 3. But Zerubbabel and Jeshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel said unto them. Now, what did, what did the Israelites say to the other nations that wanted to be included mm -hmm. with the inheritance of the Israelites? Read. Ye have nothing to do with us. It's right. biblical. Yeah. That's why we are the way we are. You ain't get, we ain't letting you in on this. This is our inheritance. God didn't give it to nobody else. Right. What we look like when we go stand before God and say, yeah, God, we came back to you and we bought the people you hate. Right. <laughs> yeah. We, we, <laughs> you won't let that be either. <laughs> Oh God! Look, I don't want. Yeah, the, I don't think I want the kingdom this. now. If this red head ass come. white man can't come in with oh, me, how can you slap look, your look, ass over look, to the damn? Look, look y'all the real Jews, but just you know, just let us be a part of you. Just, but, just but acknowledge us. The thing is, they don't even practice that. They claim that the, they're saying that Igbos are the Jews, but how come they don't include them in their Jewish there ways? There you go. And money and stuff like that. Right. Their businesses. Yeah. They don't lies. do that. It's all right. lies. Yeah. That's why you cannot trust your enemy. Exactly. Finish out verse 3. You have nothing what? You have nothing to do with us to build a house unto our God. But we ourselves together will build unto the Lord God of Israel. We're going to do it ourselves. You ain't included with this. We don't want you around here. No, it's not going down like that. And that's what some of them say. If you're not, if you're going to be the Israelites, you have to include us with you. Because if you don't, now you're anti-Semitic. Right. Now you're a hate you're group. Hate now group. you're a cult. So now you're going to call your ancestors? Mm. If you claim to be Jewish, mm -hmm. you're calling your ancestors a cult because they didn't want nothing to do Whoa. with the other nations. You see how bad you go into the Bible? You can destroy oh. whatever they say, man. This is not for okay. them. They want you to uh, dress up like Amari Stoudemire. No, hell no. You, you know, damn, dress up black and white. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they did mention uh, Amari and all the traitors in verse 5. Oh, yeah? yeah? Read verse 5. Verse 5. And hired counselors against them. Mm. To frustrate their purpose all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia. That's mm. all of them. That's uh, uh, Stephen A. That's yep. Bari. A. That's all of them. That's been all hired. of them. Yep. They've yeah. been hired to do a good job. Shot. Damn, which there is you go. to destroy the nation of Israel. Damn. Traitors, Judas's, dirty now, pieces Now go to of that silver. other one with Rosenberg. He's talking to Lord Jamar, a rapper. If you're old school, you might know who he is. Uh, play that video. Yep, there we go. I guess one thing I want to ask you about, Jamar. Listen mm -hmm. to the devil well, tell on himself. That, like a big piece of this conversation for people who understand the conversation is about black folks' origins in Judaism, right? Mm. And original Jewish people being black. Right. And do y'all have a problem with that when y'all hear that's that? The thing. That's the thing. I don't know anyone Beautiful who has question. a problem with that. So I guess but it I don't seems understand. like that is a problem. Uh. But why? Like, but what was so bad in Listen. this movie with Kyrie Irving? I wanted to get to that. that but that's, what that's happening in that movie? Like the the, the the title of it, I feel like is the problem. No, oh, see, see. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna get excited. Negroes. Did you see the movie? No, no. Okay. No. Okay. So, so you don't even know what's in it that they feel is. Oh, I do. No, I do. Anti-Semitic, and we can, we we can get into that too because that's a misnomer. But I, but I, I dis yeah. To me, that's a waste of time talking. It's semantic semantic is about language. About language. Yeah, it's not. It, but that's why the word should just be anti-Jewish. To be honest, all it does is muddies up the situation. Pause I, it. I'm with you. Listen what? to the devil tell on himself. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. He said, "Muddies up the situation." Mm. They mm. know they they know. they know that they are lying about how they use the word, yeah. but they are still using it to defend themselves. That they are no, we we Jews too. No, no, Moody. it ain't just <laughs> it ain't just y'all. No, right because away. if right. it's just y'all, blacks, Hispanics, right and Native away. Indians, right. then you're gonna out us to the world and expose that we've been lying yes. this whole time Damn. about who we are. If they give up and say, yeah, you know what, black people are, and we've been faking this, the whole world's coming for them. Yep, yep.
Because yeah. it's going to be what? The greatest lie ever told on the face of the earth. Hey, Captain, that's prophecy coming to pass where in uh, Deuteronomy it says, and thy enemies shall be found liars. There you go. Yep. Among thee. Let's go to that's it. Prophecy. Deuteronomy. Let's read it real quick. Deuteronomy, was it? Last, uh, yeah, 32. 29, 29. 32, 29. 33, 29. Let's read that. Deuteronomy 33, 29. What we are witnessing before our eyes is the, is the hidden things of Esau being sought up and being revealed so you can be sealed before the second mm -hmm. coming of the day of the Lord. Open up your righteous ears, your spiritual ears, righteous eyes and spiritual ears. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 29. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord. This is God saving us right now by revealing this. Oh, anti-Semitic, man, it, it's really a made up word and it just muddies the water. It really should be anti-Jewish because it's only one, per one people that's claiming to be Jewish, mm -hmm. but Semitics are actually black people. Oh, my, you know, that's neither here nor there. Let's not say nothing. God is saving us by revealing that. Read on. The shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency, uh -huh. and thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee. There you go. From the damn uh, synagogue of Satan's Satan. mouth. Direct. The, the devil is telling on himself. Yeah, it should, yeah, I don't even like the word. It's made up. Uh, I shouldn't have been. Go back to it. Let's listen, yeah. to, his, listen to the devil tell on himself mm -hmm. one more again. Yeah, it's not. It, but that's why the word should just be anti-Jewish. To be honest, all it does is muddies up the situation. I, I'm with you. I was gonna it's say, why y'all need a special word? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't Dude, like. Why y'all need a special word? Wow. It could be wow. racism. The word Jews. helps. Like, because everybody <laughs> else is racism. Why do you need a special word? And here's I another agree. one. Just not to, you know, quickly off topic. Why is it Egyptology? Why is there no other Egyptologies? There's not Hebrewtology. There's not African. Only Egyptology. Mm. Very weird. He let you know they did saying. that to but steer you that away from word, who uh, you are. Anti-Semitism. I hate it. Yeah. But, but run it back. He said, "What? Movie, Go back." I feel African. Only Egyptology. <laughs> Very weird. <laughs> I'm just point. saying. But I do feel that way about the word uh, anti-Semitism. I hate it. Yeah. But but in, in that movie, it. I stop it. I hate it. The Psalms chapter 64. Come on, Never man. Never trust your enemy. He'll flip Come on you on, quick. Come on, man. Yeah, don't trust his ass, but just <laughs> listen to what he said and understand that they are using that stuff only to hide yeah. who they are because yeah. they don't want us to dive into this Bible right. and start going into the history of it. Like, damn, yeah, that happened to us. Slave ships. That didn't happen to Jewish people. Chains on the neck, that didn't happen mm -hmm. to them. So, kids sold as slaves, that didn't happen to them. The damn Babylonians, it wasn't no white people they enslaved. No, that ain't you. We and you know what? We're not mad. Uh, you can you can claim whatever you want to be until Christ come back. Cause when He come back, He gonna set us on top and let the whole right. world know who we are. That's and we're going right. to be walking around in some gold and crowns and that you can't believe. And your ass is going to bow down. Because if mm -hmm. you don't worship us and serve us, Breaking your ass is done. All right. Uh, what was the scripture I just called, man? Psalms said, chapter 64 and verse 6. Yep. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Uh huh. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So shall they make their own tongue to fall upon mm. themselves. There you go. Their mm. own tongue is falling upon them. We just saw it. Their tongue. Hey, man, anti-Semitic. Yeah, it's made up. I don't even like the word. Uh, yeah, uh, black people are the Jews. But you got to include us too. Yeah. Right. They tell their tongue is falling upon them. They can't deny it no more. Why? Because the Israelites been hitting the streets for decades. That's and, right. and if you're going to deny it, well, then we're going to bring the Bible and tell you to prove it. And this is the thing you got to think about, too. This is how you know that they are not the people of the book. Have you ever seen anybody say, um, prove you Chinese to me? The hell is this? Mm. Prove that you the Arabs. Mm. Prove that you the Russians. Bruh. Prove that you the East Indians. No other nation on the face of the earth has ever had their race questioned or have been asked to prove who they are, but the people that call themselves Jewish. That should let you know right there mm. that they are not the people of the book, that they have stolen something that is not theirs, and the whole world knows right. it, but they're hiding it behind a word called anti-Semitism. Yeah. 
I never say, ever heard a Jewish person, a Jewish person, go far back than the concentration camps. 1944. They won't go pat behind that. No, no. 1948, they don't no. go behind that. They don't go to Egypt. No. No, they don't, they don't go they'll to They'll briefly the mention Moses. That's it. But they won't mention the bondage of slavery. They won't do it. Yeah, they no. won't do it. You know why? It's because God is revealing the evil before our eyes. And it's time to open up our spiritual eyes and ears and turn to the That's Lord right. and stop sinning. Right. That's right. All right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I have an important message about your leaders in the Christian church. Your bishops, pastors, reverends, and ministers are all lying to you and leading you straight to damnation. The truth is, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the biblical Israelites, according to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Jesus Christ is a black man with white wool hair, according to Revelation chapter 1, verses 14 and 15. We as the Israelites must keep the commandments in the faith of Christ to receive salvation, as it is written in Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. I've challenged and debated Christian authorities all over the world on these issues. Not one of them has been able to negate this truth. Your pastors have led you astray, worshiping pagan holidays and false gods, just as in the days of old. So join us on our mission to restore the true nation of Israel before the decree goes forth. The work is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Visit our website at israelunite.org or call us at 855-484-4842 to learn more and visit our schools. Shalom.